Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So again, today's video, we're going to be unboxing the Blue Ewin Knight Series Racing Chair. So guys, I recently was watching Tech Deals and I realized I saw that they were actually a sponsor of these gaming chairs and I was also in the market for a gaming chair. So I looked at the prices and for most of them, they're about 400 bucks. But this one right here, I actually, so the price of it is 300 Canadian dollars. But after using Tech Deals code, um, they basically gave me 30% off, so it was about 210 220 after taxes, which is not too bad for a gaming chair, especially when I looked on Amazon. Especially in Canada, the chairs are really expensive, and they're really low quality too. So I saw this one, it looked really nice in the pictures, but the only thing was I needed to see how it looked in person. So buying it from this website was a little bit sketchy at first because, you know, it looked like just like a, a scam at the beginning. But after buying it, you know, they shipped it within like a day or two. So it was pretty quick shipping. And the quality overall for the chair is really good. So I will recommend this chair as well, especially for the price. Because I am only I only paid like 210 220 Canadian. And I got a really, really nice gaming chair to add to my setup. So yeah, we're going to continue on with the unboxing. So let's get into it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, there's also going to be a second video where I'm going to actually do a review, an in-depth review where I talk about some of the struggles that I had, but also some things that I really like. So I'm going to go really in-depth into it, the next review video about this chair, but for now we're just going to stick to the unboxing and what's inside and how to assemble the product. Alright, so when building the chair, it wasn't too bad. Um, there was a lot of packaging and stuff you had to get take out, but they did have that little book right there that I was able to refer to in order to try to assemble the product. I have previously set one up, another gaming chair, like prior to this video, so I did have a little bit of knowledge on how to do it, but overall it wasn't too bad. I just had to slip the wheels in, so it wasn't too bad. And the wheels actually flow really nicely, which is what I really like. So yeah, once the base is done, we're just trying to uh, get the other part of the base set up. So we just put it in there and it just sits right there. So next we have these, those are the covers as well as the screws and the little wrench that you're gonna use to tighten the chair once you assemble it. So we're just, so we're just gonna skip a little bit of the, um, the setting up here. A lot of it was just taking out the side screws and then now we're just about to put them back in the screws are already in the chair you just have to use the wrench and take it out and then use it to attach it to the base or the seat seat cushion so what i like about this is that the um, pillows have already been you know they're already on the chair so it did save me some time as well as the base they had some like screws that you normally like when you're putting the, like the armrest together you have to put the screws in but i like that even they basically did it for you so it saves you a little bit of time compared to like this other Amazon one that I bought, bought that I had to put the the armrest together so it did take some time but yeah it saved me a little bit of time there so that was good all right so as you guys can see here we're just screwing in the sides nothing too fancy literally just putting in the screws one at a time it was a little bit tricky but I found that just putting one in on both sides like a little bit like not fully tightening them but put a, like a little bit so that it holds on on one side and then put the other one in and eventually you'll be able to fit all of them in and then you just tighten them once they're all like attached to the chair. And you're just going to want to do that for both sides. Okay so now we're going to be trying to put the base in. So just keep in mind right here I made a big mistake. So you see how the way that I put it in? I actually put that in backwards so I ended up having to go and unscrew it later on like when I wasn't recording and then I flipped it around so yeah that was on the wrong way but basically that's got to be facing towards the front and then the um, the lever for it, like to raise and lower the chair should be on the right side instead of the left so that was a mistake there but I ended up fixing it after because i was wondering like, i like sat on it and then i was wondering why it was so like wasn't balanced properly and then eventually i figured out it's just because i put it the wrong way but as you guys can see all you gotta do is just pick up the chair and then just put it on and it sits firmly and that is about it i mean we still have to put the covers on the left and right side of the chair for the screws to cover them up So right here, you guys can see, I actually just flipped it around, which is the whole reason why I'm screwing it in again. 
but yeah that's that's what i said i put it in the wrong way so i had it facing the back but once you like flip around the other way and then the lever is on the right side that's when you know it's in the correct position okay so now it's time we talk a little bit about the chair i'm not going to go fully in depth but here's something i noticed about my chair mine had this mark um i know it's really minor but yeah i was just kind of like i was a little not really disappointed but i was just like oh you know like come on why is there a mark there but it's not too big of a deal it should just like it, it went away after a while so nothing to worry about there but yeah just make sure you inspect your item because i don't know if they even has a good quality control like so i had this is my first time purchasing from them but so far it hasn't been too bad okay so right here lastly we're about to finish up uh, essentially the chair has already been put together that's it we're all good but we just need to put on the little caps on the left and right side so that we cover up the screw holes and it looks really clean so yeah this was probably one of the easiest parts just like put the screw in put the cover over it and then tighten it but well, for the most part, putting together the chair wasn't too bad. Um, if you need help, there's also other videos online that will help you to actually put it together. Mine is mostly just like an unboxing of me doing it. So yeah, I know it's a little bit rushed, but um, I tried my best to just put the really important parts in. That is all you need to do. So you could follow the instructions like so. But yeah, they're apparently, they basically have similar steps to all the gaming chairs that you make, so. Yeah, so now I'm just gonna be sitting in it. So see how the comfort feels. So I will say this, the chair is bigger than the other one that I had, but it feels more comfortable. I mean, the comfort level is pretty much the same, but for me, since I'm a bit bigger, a bit bigger, then it's a little better for me. There's no foot rest, unfortunately. I know massage pillow either, which I'm kind of sad about, but. All right, look at this pillow over here. I just want to show you, it's kind of thin, like, it looked more thick on the, um, actual, uh, like, if you look on here, right, it's kind of hard to see, but the pillow looks like, kind of thick, but in this case, it's big, but it's not as thick, it's more thin, it's thin, if you look at that, but, and these pillows are more on the softer side, so is this, it's more softer, it's got a different kind of thing in it, but, Seems to be alright. I like the branding even, but I don't know how the quality of the chair will last in a couple, you know, years. What I like is a hand rest because it's like a little U, so it fits your arms like really snug. So if you bring this up, this is the highest. That's the lowest. So yeah. Oh yeah, and also let's deal with the height. So this is the lowest. So my my feet are already touching the ground like. I got a 90 degree angle, but if I were to, you know, uh, lift it. So my legs are still touching the ground, but it's a little higher off. So I'm about five foot nine, so yeah, it's not too bad. And also we can do this with the chair. I can like push it back. Let's see how far it can go. Okay, so that's, I think that's about as far as it goes. You can basically sleep in the chair if you wanted to. So yeah, but when you're done, just pull it up. Oh, that was quick. Maybe not so fast, but let's try that again. Yeah, you just gotta like come up with the chair, I think, so that it doesn't you know, do that. But other than that, okay. Other than that, it's pretty good. Locks into place, so it's all firm. It's quite nice. Let's do a little spin around with the chair. So it's quite nice. I like this stitching, the stitching is nice. And the blue accents on this side. So this is actually called, I forgot to mention, this is called the Ewan Knight series. So I paid about 209 for this. And I used the code Tech Deals, which gave me 30% off. It's not my code, but it gave me a pretty good discount. Went from like 310 to 209, which is very nice. So yeah, it's pretty good. We got the nice stitching on the back. And yeah, I think it will last. It does look pretty decent, feels comfortable. And most of the stuff is already put together for you. Just a couple things, put the base together and attach these two together and 
the stand and you're good. So let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out. Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. So I know I didn't really go into depth about this chair and our, all I really did this video was I was putting the chair together and showing you guys how I did it. But I'm going to be doing a video where I actually talk about this chair. I did have a little bit of a problem with one portion of the chair, which I'm going to talk about in the next video, but it will have to do with the backrest. So it turns out it was actually like a factory thing, so it's normal for it to be like that. But I had to go through and talk to even like customer service and I had a little bit of problems. So I want to talk about more in depth in the next video. But overall, I did have a more than positive review about this company. And even though the website looks really sketchy, it turned out to be a pretty good purchase, especially for the price that you pay. And if you're on a budget, I literally recommend this chair and I'll talk about it more later. Without further ado guys, thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. And just keep in mind, the video is not sponsored. So it's all my personal thoughts and opinions. Oh yeah, so don't forget to check in the description and the comment section so I'll be having a link to this website so that you guys can purchase a chair for yourself as well as I'm going to be doing a the review video as like I said earlier about this chair. I'll go into depth and it's also going to talk about the chair and then I'm also going to show you guys how the chair looks after about a couple months of usage which is um, pretty good. So far it's held up and I can't wait to show you guys. So don't forget to check down below, like, subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace.